striped attitude. The Dodge Challenger SRT8 392 squares off with Shelby's GT350 for a little retro rumble. One that's filled with 995 horsepower worth of tire smoke. These two may conjure images of the past, but under their blue and white stripes, they're simply modern muscle that is a comfortable way to relive the glory days. The SRT8 we have here is the newest Challenger, an inaugural edition 392 model. Its pushrod V8 is in fact 392 cubic inches, or in modern measure, 6.4 liters. A stroked version of the 6.1 liter V8 it replaces. It makes 45 more horsepower and 90 pound-feet more torque for a combined 470 of each. The Shelby here is not purchased at a Ford dealership. Instead, it is a package added by Shelby American to a 2011 Ford Mustang GT. It's 5-liter all-aluminum V8 receiving a Whipple supercharger that bumps output to 525 horsepower. There's no concern with fuel efficiency here. It's all about opening the Mustang. But unlike the 60s original that was built for racing homologation and thus gave up all practicality and comfort, this GT350 retains every accoutrement. New dampers, revised bushings, and alignment bring the Challenger chassis to life. The package works in concert with the engine that seems to breathe more deeply. A smaller and lighter steering wheel feels good in the back roads. It helps this large and relatively heavy coupe romp through the twisties. Good fun that's impressive to anyone who's nestled into its white leather seats. Starting with a 2011 GT means that Shelby already had the performance bar set high. The addition of Ford performance parts and other custom Shelby bits means the GT350 is a refined performer fit for track abuse. In the mountain roads, it's stable, planted, and willing to go much faster than the law would forgive any of us for going. The difference between these two can be summed up in their performance figures. Carroll's GT350 easily outruns any other pony car and rivals the performance of the Corvette. The Challenger, on the other hand, has stepped up its game and now competes squarely with the Camaro SS and Mustang GT. But when it comes to reliving the past and comfort, both do an admirable job. At almost half the price, the Challenger makes a lot of sense. But if performance is key, the GT350 is the logical choice. Either way, both of these are fun to burn some rubber in and far more livable than the past they represent.